So here is how you craft one of the most powerful weapon, Zenith. First, you will need to defeat the corresponding evil boss of your world. To get either Demonite or Crimtain or to craft the corresponding bar, which can be used to craft Light's Bane or Blood Butcherer. Then you need 3 Vine, 15 Jungle Spores, 12 Stinger from the Jungle to craft Blade of Grass in the Anvil. Now go and defeat the Skeletron. To enter the dungeon then find Muramasa and one of the Gold Chest. Now go and obtain a Hell Forge in Hell. And while at it get 60 Hellstone and 20 Obsidian then craft 20 Hellstone Bar to craft the Volcano in Anvil. With the four swords craft the knight's edge in the altar. Now you will need 20 souls of might from destroyer, 20 souls of sight from twins, and 20 souls of fright from skeletron, and the knight's edge. To craft the true knight's edge, then craft the excalibur with 12 hallowed bar. Now mine 120 chlorified to craft 20 for chlorified bar and then, use it with excalibur to craft the true excalibur. Now go and obtain the broken hero sword, by defeating Mothrin in solar eclipse after defeating plantera. Then craft the Terra Blade using the three swords. Now you will need Copper Short Sword, which you will spawn with, or you can craft with five Copper Bar. And then go and kill the Queen Bee to obtain Bee Keeper. Then find Enchanted Sword Shrine in your world to obtain Enchanted Sword. Then find Star Fury in Sky Island's chest. Then obtain Seedler from Plantera. And obtain the Horseman's Blade from Pump King in Halloween event. Obtain Influx Waver from Martian Saucer in the Martian Madness event. Then finally defeat the Moon Lord to obtain Starrath and Meow Mir. Then craft the Zenith using all the swords. Now if you could not follow the video, then I have left a link in the description for a chart to craft the Zenith. And if you want to see how powerful the Zenith is then watch this video to find out. And with that, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.